Hi, everyone. My name is Adrian Goins. I'm the Director of Community and Evangelism at Rancher Labs. See? It even says so right there. When they asked me to do this lightning talk, I wanted to choose a subject that was fitting for the time restrictions. A lightning talk is fast. It's under 10 minutes. Kubernetes doesn't have a reputation for being fast, but you know what does? K3S. For K3S, 10 minutes is a lifetime. I can do 10 installations of K3S in 10 minutes, and that's while eating a sandwich with one hand. In fact, let's start one now. K3S is easy to install using a tool called Ketchup from Alex Ellis. This installs K3S over SSH, similar to how RKE does it. What's RKE, you ask? Why, it's our other CNCF certified Kubernetes distribution. It runs everything inside of containers. You should check it out. But this talk is about using Metal LB with K3S. So I need to disable service LB and traffic when bringing up the cluster. And there we go. While that's building, let me explain what I just did. K3S ships with traffic for its ingress controller, and it uses Clipper LB to attach a load balancer service to the IP of the host. This is great for installations where you only need one thing bound to a single IP, but what about when you need multiple IPs or when you have more public services than you have nodes. Enter Metal LB, the only solution for load balancer services in on-prem K3S deployments. You give Metal LB a block of addresses like you would with a DHCP server, and when you create a load balancer service, it grabs one of those addresses and begins announcing it either via layer two ARP or BGP. If a node goes down, it starts announcing it from a different node. Metal LB used to depend on Kubernetes for failed node detection, and that could take up to six minutes to detect a failure and move the IP. Now it uses MemberList from HashiCorp for fast detection of failed nodes. Now that our node is up, we'll install Metal LB and then the Nginx Ingress controller from Helm. Metal LB is easy to install with Customize. It'll pull from the GitHub repo, and the only two files that I need locally are my config map that specifies the address pool and the secret that defines the passphrase that MemberList uses for communication between nodes. We'll fire that off with kubectl apply-k, and while it's rolling out, let's talk about Nginx. Don't get me wrong. I like Traffic and the team at Containus a lot. They're doing great things with v2 of Traffic, but K3S deploys 1.7 to keep things lightweight. I could redeploy either of them, behind Metal LB, or I could deploy HA proxy, or I could deploy anything else. I'm only showing how to deploy Nginx because it's so common. Everybody already knows how to use it. Now, you've probably heard of a thing called Helm, right? You install the Helm binary on your local machine, you add repos, you update them, and then you install applications with a bunch of dash dash set flags or a values.yaml file. That sounds familiar, yeah? Well, check this out. K3S has a Helm controller which means that we can deploy packages from Helm by applying a manifest to the cluster that looks like this. The spec contains the chart, the version, the repo, the target namespace, and optionally, any parameters that we want to set. You can drop these files into a directory on the K3S nodes, and they'll be automatically deployed, or you can apply them to the cluster like a regular manifest. Hello, GitOps. So where does that leave us? it leaves us able to kick off an install of something like an MQTT broker. That would get its own IP for direct communication with the service, and clients won't have to pass through something like the TCP services configuration of an ingress controller or a dedicated external load balancer. If we did that, it might look like this. And installing it? Well, it might look like that. So what comes next? Well, after this talk, I'm going to turn this into a multi-node cluster and start installing other apps on it. And then I'm going to import it into Rancher to start managing it. But this is my cluster. You should go build your own. And you should do what you want to do with it. K3S and Metal LB are free and open source. So there's nothing holding you back. Come join the K3S revolution and start making Kubernetes work for you.